Here's our first polynomial equation word problem. And this is taken from Skill Builder 5.7, page 2 of the Skill Builders. And it's problem number 3. A tree is supported by a wire anchored in the ground 5 feet from its base. The wire is 1 foot longer than the height that it reaches on the tree. Find the length of the wire. So the first thing I usually like to do is draw a picture of the situation. So we have a tree and it is anchored by a wire that reaches the ground five feet from the base of the tree. So I'll give that a five. And um, then we're told that the wire itself is one foot longer than the height that it reaches on the tree. So we're not told anything about the height. So usually the dimension that you have the least information about is the one you want to give the variable to. So let's give the height the variable x and then we know the wire is one foot longer, so it's x plus one. And now we want to see if we can put these variables into an equation that relates them all. And what we want to think about here is because we have a triangle, and it is a right triangle, so you can think of it as a right angle right there, we're going to use a Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean theorem tells us that for two legs and the hypotenuse of a right triangle, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared. We're going to use this to make an equation that has the x's in it. So c squared, that will be x plus 1 squared, and be sure to put parentheses around your x plus 1 and square the entire x plus 1 equals a squared plus b squared, so the legs squared. 5 squared plus x squared. And now that we have the equation, we can kind of forget about the word problem for now and just solve the equation. And then we'll go back and double check to make sure our answer makes sense when we get the answer. So solving this out, let's first clear parentheses. And that's going to help us see what kind of equation we have. Do we have a linear equation to solve or a quadratic equation to solve? Because depending on the kind of equation we have, that points us in two different directions on the problem solving approach. Now when you square x plus 1 squared, be careful not to just distribute the exponent of 2 because anything squared is that thing times itself. So we have to FOIL it out, which means we're going to get a middle term, x squared plus x plus x plus 1 equals 25 plus x squared. And now we want to combine like terms right here with the x's, x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 25 plus x squared. And right now we're just simplifying what we have, clearing parentheses, combining like terms, because that's going to help us know in what direction to go to solve the equation. Now that everything's simplified, we look and see that we have an x squared. So that gets us thinking, OK, we're probably going to want to use our quadratic equation approach. And the approach we're learning right now is to solve it by factoring. So the first step is to move all terms to one side of the equation, so we have an equation equal to 0. So let's subtract the 25 on both sides, and let's subtract the x squared on both sides. And then we get, that cancels out, cancels out, cancels out, 2x minus 24 equals 0. Now with this equation, we notice that the x squares have canceled out. So we actually don't have a quadratic equation. What we have is an x to the 1 equation or a linear equation. So that means instead of factoring, we're going to just isolate the x. So we're going to solve for x by adding 24 to both sides. And that gives us 2x equals 24. Then divide by 2, and we get x is equal to 12. Now we want to look and see if that makes sense with the problem. x equals 12. So x on our diagram is the height of the tree. We are asked to find the length of the wire. So we want to find x plus 1. So x plus 1 is equal to 12, which is the x, plus 1, or 13. And that would be 13 feet. So the length of the wire is 13 feet. 